Tonight, The Moonlight <laughs> Me Down, featuring Mike Monroe of uh, Hanoi Rocks fame, and obviously Mike Monroe band on saxophone, who yes. did a fantastic job. Amazing. Playing the saxophone on this. Um, Robert's laughing, because Robert, when we were recording this, he, Robert asked me what it was about, and I don't think you were expecting the, no, no, the I, answer I, I, that I, was that like, I gave God, you. what a great lyric. This is such a cool Thank song. You. It's really, really a great song. I'm really enjoying it. And I was like, Ricky, it's a really cool song, man. What, 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 you know, what's, what's the whole thing behind it? And he looked me dead straight in the eye and he goes, it's about me wee dog when I was a little boy. Ran away from me. And I went, what? Because <laughs> I had a dog run away from me too, Duke, when I was seven or eight years old. So I could, could, could uh, appreciate where he was coming yeah, from. Yeah, you know, it's a Scott Gorham riff. And as soon as he played it, I was just like, this is great. This is going to be a single. Yeah. It was so catchy. And it's so, it's so Scott Gorham. It's one of those cool signature Gorham riffs that he brings in you just go like like Bloodshot in the first album like Soldier's Town you just go wow you know the, the, the songs write themselves when you have a riff that good yeah so the Scott brings in this killer riff and you know I, I just got to thinking and, and like Robert said I had this Jack Russell Terrier when I was about 10 years old and I just idolized this little dog and this little dog would follow me everywhere it was, it was my buddy and I came home from school one day and the dog had ran off mm. And it's the first time I ever remember a sense of loss in my life and having my heart broken. And you know, for about a month, I went out every night looking for that dog, calling his name to see if I could find it. And the dog never came back and it broke my heart. So that kind of inspired the lyric for the song, but obviously taking it on a broader scale, you know, as you get older, sadly, people get older and they pass away and you start losing loved ones and friends. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of encompassing that into the whole. It's, the song's really about a sense of loss you know, standing under, outside underneath the moon, just, just thinking about people that you've loved, pets that you've loved, and, and, and hoping that they're, they're in a better place or, or, or somewhere or, whatever, or wherever you go when, when you die, who knows. Um, it's really, this song's a sense of, it's about a sense of loss, but I think in a positive way more than a negative way than anything else. Again, another song or a lyric that you listen to that you don't quite grasp the, the, the intended you know, subject matter or anything, but it's just such a great song and so well written. Thank it's you. It's just very cool. We dig it. And and hearing it for the first time, I was like, God, Ricky, man, you, you really, and not to get off topic, but he really came in on fire this record. I mean, he was loaded and ready to go. And uh, I think we all were. I think we all couldn't wait yeah. to get into the process, to get into the pre-production, to get into the, getting the songs worked up. And and uh, and same thing as we feel right now about the tour, like it couldn't come soon enough. I think, yeah, you know, and I think obviously when, when people leave, it's difficult. Yeah. You know, everybody left under great, you know, good circumstances, as amicable as it, we could yeah. it possibly be, but it's still an upheaval and it's still a lot of work and you're still going, you know, we gotta, we got to find the right person. What if we don't get the right person? You know, you're, you're worried. Um, so that, to have that going on the last two years and then still deliver the album that we've just delivered, I think, is, is a testimony to myself and, and to Robert and, and to Scott and obviously to Chad and, and Christian when they came in. Mm. But you know, it, 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 it's been a, it's, there's been a few ups and downs the last couple of years with, with people leaving. So to overcome that and to come back as strong as we have, um, I'm very proud. Yeah, not with me. I, I love those guys, but I'm like, bye. It's, <laughs> let's move on. I mean, it's, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, you know, born and raised in Los Angeles. I, I've, you know what I mean? I chopped my arm off to make sure I get the first line for the <laughs> Slurpee. You know what I mean? I just, I don't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I love you guys, but it's like, next. Yeah. And uh, it's all good, man. It's all good. Yeah.